Hi, this is a, uh, a video on how to work with Moodle from the back end, meaning as a teacher. So um, Maureen, this is pretty much for you. Uh, maybe we can use this for someone else if they do this as well. Here's your course, and we're both teachers, so I'm going to go in here. And this is the basic framework. Uh, right here, um, I can turn my editing on and I can start working in the course. So I'm going to do that. First off, I'm going to go back a second, and I'm going to edit the settings of this course. Okay, so if you miss that, let me just back up. I'm in the course, and I'm going to edit the settings of the course as a whole. This is the full name. We can change this name to absolutely anything. This is the short name. Um, it'll show up this way in different ways uh, Moodle will list the courses. The category, you can't touch this. Uh, visibility, if you want to just hide this course from everyone, you can. Currently you're showing it. The start of the course and the end date. My courses, I generally don't end. They just stay forever um, So uh, until I decide to enable this. But you could enable this and have the course actually end. And the ID number, I don't really use. If you want to put a description of this course, go right ahead, right in this spot. Um, if you don't quite see everything you want to work with to format text, just click this, and now you can see more, like underline, um, uh, change the font color, these little guys, um, insert a table, all sorts of things like that. So really simply, I, I just have some text on my um, copy and paste thing. Really simply just pop your text in, make any adjustments you want to it, um, and there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna um, get rid of that. Uh, you can attach files here and um, different things. This is currently set up in topics, but if we wanted to do this in weeks, we could do that. This little question mark will tell you what all these mean. Um, it gives you a, a different kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, a different, just information about the different things. <laughs> um, hidden sections. Uh, currently, if you hide sections from students, they can still see that they are there. That can be helpful, especially if you have like 10 weeks of a course and someone just sees five. You don't want to have them think there's only five in the course and then be surprised when you open more. Appearance. Um, I don't really mess with these. Number of announcements. Five. I show grade books to students. Activity reports. Let's people see how much they've completed. That sort of things. Files and uploads. Uh, you can change this. There's no reason why. You can't just change it up to one gigabyte. Um, no one should be uploading that much anyway, but you just never know. Completion tracking, I think it uh, lets people see how much of a thing they've done. You know, you've done 20%, etc. And the rest, I don't bother with. So um, there you go. You can make those changes in your course. We'll come back here. I'm just going to leave this. And now announcements is the first section. And you can go ahead and edit this. And you can oh, edit the section. OK, so you can um, add a description here. You can add text. You could add a picture. Let's say you wanted to put a picture and some text so this wasn't all uh, visual, all words. Uh, you can do that as well. What I tend to do is I usually make a box or a, uh, a table and I make it pretty simple um, and I make it one row by one row and I don't really mess with anything else hopefully this will work fine and there is a box so now if I want to put my text in here I can do that and Maybe this was a bad idea because they just changed how this looks. So I'm going to skip that. So if you would ignore that I made a box and or a table, and I'll figure this out a little better for you so that it works right. 
So anyway, um, let's play with topic one. Okay, we'll leave it called topic one, but if you wanted to change it, you could change those words right there. And we're going to start to edit this. So um, we're going to start by editing the topic. Topic one, um, a look at science. And maybe I'd add more words here. Okay. And I'm not going to do anything else to it. So now when people see this, they'll see that. We're going to add a resource and let's add a, let's start adding some links for people to look at. And maybe um, just because I happen to know it, we'll add a, uh, a website I want them to go to. Um, maybe I'll add a description and we'll display that description on the course page. Appearance. You can leave it at, uh, at automatic. Automatic um, tends to be the best. Um, you can make it come in a pop-up. I tend to do that sometimes. So, or a new window for people. Uh, that's especially good if you want everything to be consistent. Maybe you want every single link people clip to open a new window. You can do that. You can also leave it at automatic. I don't really do anything with these at all. And there you go. So we're going to save and return to the course. Oops, I didn't put in a URL. Um, so let's just make sure we get it right, because I know I did. And I just hit uh, Control C to copy it. I'm going to paste it, and I was just missing the HTTPS. Okay, so we'll save and return to this course. And now you'll see we have topic one and here's CNN. So let's add um, something else. Let's make a page. And a page is like, you know, like a sheet, um, like a Word doc, like a mini web page in here. Um, and this will be called a page to look at. And I'm just going to paste whatever. Oh, I, that's all I have right now. Um, let's just see if I have something else I can. Here we go. Let's grab this text and I will paste all this stuff. Now it came in blue because that's what uh, my last font was. And I am just going to make sure this comes in black. And maybe I'd like to make this bold. And maybe this is going to be a subhead. And so maybe the subhead I will um, do, do something with. Uh, maybe I'll make this uh, medium heading, and we can see what that does. Oh, and that's nice, and we'll make that bold. Okay, so play around with this. Now you can, whoops, I just made a big mistake. So I was doing all that in the description area. All right, so I'm just going to gather all this, Apple A and C paste it right down here. I didn't mean to do this. But it doesn't really matter what's here unless you display the description. Okay. So this is now my page. And sorry, I can move I can move this box out of the way. This is now my page here and it's going to look like this. I will open this just so I can see all my stuff. And maybe I'm happy with this. Maybe I'd like to add a picture. So put your cursor where your image is going to go. Uh, we'll put a picture right at the start of it, right up here. And come right to this icon, which is a insert or edit image. We're going to track down. So I just to do that again, I clicked picture, browse repositories. We'll see what we find. And I happen to have these because I've uploaded these for different things. Um, but if I didn't, I could just go to upload a file and find a file or a picture on my computer someplace. OK, so I won't bother doing that. I have a recent one and it's uh, a picture of a compass. I don't even know what that is. Compass, um, we'll leave the author here. Public domain, I don't feel the need to copyright this. Um, and I'll select this. 
Okay, now I want to describe this for someone who can't see it. It's called alt text and it's a compass and um, that's fine. But I want maybe a couple words there. I'm going to auto size this and I'm going to align this. Um, I'm going to keep it on the left and I'll save that. So align image, I can put it to the top of the page, the bottom. I'll keep it at the left for the moment. Now I could put a size in. I actually don't know how big the picture is, so I don't want to set a size yet. And wow, I think I'm going to mess this up. Okay, so size for the moment, I'm going to do 640 by 320. And I don't even know what that's going to do. And here's, so it gave me a picture. Um, and as you can see, you can't quite see it. It's possible my picture is not truly there, but let's take a look at it. We'll save and display it. Okay, so my picture is not really there. So we're going to go back and re-edit this page. And I'm going to get rid of that picture. And this time I'm actually going to track one down and add one so that I can really find it. So I'm browsing. I'm going to upload a file. I will choose a file from my computer. I'll go to my pictures. And let's go to main. Oh my gosh, I don't even have a picture to show you. Um, sorry, let's go to the desktop. And here's a picture of, oh, here's a picture of my daughter, which should be fine. So we'll open that up. That's Sophie. Um, I don't know if I need to save this as anything. I think it'll take care of itself. I'm going to upload it. It's uploading right now. Sorry for this little delay here, um, but that's the thing. You can speed through this part. So it's uploading. Okay. Wow, and I guess it's a giant size photo. So it is truly huge. And I sure don't want it to be that huge. So I'm just going to make this be 600. I clicked auto size, so it gave me a proportional size. There's my lovely daughter. We'll make her appear on the left. I will add text. That's for a reader, um, someone who might be visually impaired. And now we have everything we need. We're going to save the image, and there she is. So let's just move things around. I'm going to move myself up here. And let's see if we can move this box a little bit. So I can now see that, wow, that's kind of a big picture. And I can come over here to the properties, and I can say, you know, this is actually... A little bigger I think that's height by width um, let's make this be 320 when I click off that gives me a more manageable size we're gonna save that there we go so now there's Sophie right here with some lovely text the text is wrapping around it's not bumping into that and that's nice and automatic and I feel pretty good about that so I'm now gonna save this so now I have CNN and a page to look at. Let's see what a page to look at looks like. And it looks pretty manageable. Like if someone's opening this up, I feel like they can navigate this pretty well. Uh, there's a little bit of, you know, visual uh, words. I've formatted some words. Um, things feel pretty good. Now, if I decide, decide that, like, gee, I could actually do more with this. Let's just go back one and come back here. And we're going to edit this page over here. And, you know, I can now play around with this more. Maybe I have a typo. Um, maybe I want to bold something else. Let's bold this. Um, let's make this line be centered. All kinds of stuff. Really play around with it. You, you can't you can't break things. The worst thing you can do is uh, really mess things up and discover that it's a real pain and you need to delete some stuff. But 
there you go. If you get things too messed up, if you're like totally edit something, you feel like it's just not working, whatever you're doing is not working, just copy everything. Put it into uh, something like text edit if you're on a Mac or notepad. Click um, format plain text. It'll take all the coding out and just make a new page and try it again. Okay, let's go back. Let's do something else here in topic one. So resources, I never used books, file. Um, maybe there's a PDF you want people to look at. Uh, read a PDF file. And maybe there's a description. Read this. Just will display that. Now, we, I have a PDF somewhere um, or a document. But let's um, let's see what I have on my desktop, and uh, I'm just going to move this aside. Okay, so here's a, uh, I guess here's a screenshot. Um, if it won't show it, like if if the file's not going to work, it's probably not going to take it. So you don't really have to worry that you know if, like I, I don't have a PDF here. It's something else. It's a PNG screenshot, but. Uh, just you know find what you want and just drag it in or you can um, browse and try to find it now if you put something here and you discover that gee I actually don't want this you can just delete it um, but we're gonna go ahead and we'll update that and now we'll go back to the course so now there's um, CNN a page to look at here's a PDF which is not a PDF it looks like someone's syllabus and I can now have people read this. Okay, so we'll go back to the course. And now let's, um, you know, that's about all I use URL, page, file. Uh, I don't even know what IMS content package is. We're going to come over here to activities. And activities, we have all kinds of things for people to do. The one we do most often is discussion forum. So we'll click forum. And we'll give a uh, general name, um, a little description. Maybe I want to display it, maybe not. There's a bunch of different forums. So this tells you what they all are. A single discussion. Everyone talks at once in the same strand. I tend to use this a lot. Each person posts one discussion. You post one thing. It keeps it more organized. Uh, makes it a little harder to have big discussions this way, but it still works. Q&A forum can be helpful, especially, um, you know, if you don't want people to see other people's responses first. Standard display in a blog format, standard forum for general use. Um, that's where people can start new discussions anytime. That can be messy, but we'll try that. So we're going to make it, it's available all the time right now. Uh, but you could, I, we could decide that we're going to make this available two days after. That way, if you want people to do a lot of reading before they post, um, sometimes I don't even make these available for two days, so I know people are reading. Uh, sometimes people like post really quick. Attachments, I tend to make these rather big. I don't want people to post attachments, but sometimes, you know, people have written something and they want to share it. Um, I frequently, if that's not high enough, like if it's down here, the standard, people often will uh, try to post. They get really frustrated. Uh, no one needs more than nine attachments. I don't care about the word count. Subscription and tracking. Um, subscription right now is optional, which means that if you post, you won't get a notification that someone replied. If I force the, the subscription, that means that anyone who posts here will automatically get replies. It can be a whole lot of emails. Um, ratings. Um, these are similar to grades. Moodle just changed around some of these, so I might not be totally familiar with these. I'm going to grade this forum. So here's an easy way to grade it. We'll just put a maximum rating. And... <laughs> I'm just going to make it 10, and you'll see why in a second. Um, we'll just totally leave it all. Grade category, uncategorized. Save and return to course. Now I could just hit save and display. So here's now the discussion forum. People are going to come. They're going to add a new discussion, for, a new discussion topic. 
here's the first person they're going to say hi twice they'll post to the forum and you as a teacher can see oh dave posted hi okay let's take a look oh very good um and you can see there's no rating currently okay um now if uh we had set this a little differently you like if someone else meaning not a teacher posted something you right here would have a little drop down and it would list right now one through ten and you could just scroll down and give me a ten which meant i did it okay um edit delete all that kind of good stuff um one thing about editing if you there are sometimes options where you can delay posting things for uh 45 minutes so if i were to reply to myself yeah if i were to reply to myself and i just said hi again i could make this reply happen just to me i can click advanced and i can send this with no editing time delay which means this is going to get posted right now right now live otherwise it's going to take 45 minutes for it to post so i i tend to read this as much as i can and make the post happen pretty quick okay so that now is a discussion forum we'll go back and other activities play around with we can make a quiz a survey um, a wiki and i can show you how those work um, assignments i don't tend to use i i just don't really do these um, i think it's more of a hand in type thing and i think it works you know i, I tend to use the discussion forums um, you can certainly certainly pick other things to do here um, that is the basics uh, wiki is another tool if you want to have people work on a wiki um, we'll make it a collaborative wiki and we'll give this first page a name and that's pretty much all we need to have happen here we're going to save and return whoops i went too far so now when a student clicks the wiki, um, the first person can create a page. And now we'll just post that. So now everyone who comes in, they'll see this wiki. Oh, here's a wiki. I will click edit. They can add their thoughts here. And like everything else, they can add anything they can add pictures, tables, anything else. And so now you'll see that this wiki is being developed. People are starting to add things here. It could be tools, other things like that. Okay, um, so that is the ballpark of a wiki. I wish this middle breadcrumb, the one that said rise, lit up, um, but that's okay. So that gives me the basics. Um, you can... I don't use quizzes in here, but you can certainly do that as well. And I can help you. We can navigate what else, whatever else you want to do with this. All right, so 23 minutes. That's probably the longest you want to hear from me. Um, but that is hopefully a start at building a Moodle. Hope that helps. Reach out with questions. Bye.